faculty in the university are playing a, a very important role because you mold the future of your nation and what your nation will become based on the kind of graduates you produce. I think this should be a platform that every faculty all over the world that wants to be at the best in what they do should look at it and adapt the content and have their own innovative ideas to the content. How do you show them how the test of real life is? We do that by the laboratories, either simulation laboratories or real life practical laboratories. Because things to do, but it's already done for you in OCW. All you have to do is just do some few modification and there you are, you have it. We need a student who should have at least a foundation in being able to design uh, cheap. So we actually adopted the OCW, we adopted it completely. So at MIT, you have two or three instructors who are the best in that field. And then they have support staff like graduate assistants, graduate teaching assistants, graduates, are, and they have graders and all that. So it's like you have a whole team teaching the course. So the pace at MIT for that course is very fast. So now bring it back here. So you have only me teaching the course. There's no way I'm going to match that. So at first, when I brought in the content from the OCW, it kind of raised some questions. There were some complaints from the students because it's like adding more activities or tasks to what they do. So it's like they feel like, why are you taking us through this stressful part? As at that time, the current market, software market in the, our country was not, the demand were not too rigorous compared to now. Yeah, so but later they could see that for them to be globally competitive, they need to have best practices, best standard, and the master the concept that, that, that matters. So what we did was that we splitted the course into two semesters. So that reduced the pace and give more room to do a lot of things. The, the, the goal of, 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 the, of the course is to train students to write Soft, develop software that are free from bugs, ready for change, and easy to understand. That phrase alone changes a lot of things. When we start lecturing like, classes, and we know that this is our focus, it changes a lot of things about the perception of the student, about the preparation, and about the goal and objectives of the students as well. Now, I want to follow the Bloom Taxonomy M of teaching, not just for a student to understand, no, but how can we go up to the create level? Before, that's not what we have. It's just a bunch of materials and mathematics that will go to class and just teach from there till the exam. They will cry what they know and ask them and pass. So now I try to make it different. So that's why I stress high quality OCW materials can really, not only the student, they can also help you as educator to learn because it was a new field to me too. So I needed to actually learn and it actually make learning those things easier engineer than going to the class and participating seeing a real life problem going to the lab experiencing the problem sleeping on it and tomorrow go to the class using theory and solve the problem it gives you more intuition of being engineer just streaming youtube videos and taking some online courses doesn't get you near to the real life thing apart from adding to your students is going to really add to you as a faculty because you're going to be challenged by the kind of content you see. It's going to challenge you first to make sure you master your field, your own content, your own courses. Uh, if you have any challenge, just reach out to ETT fellows in your university or in your neighboring university. They should be able to help you because they have uh, an experience using this platform. And the other thing is you also need to assess if the objective of that course aligns with your own program because some courses are designed with some objectives in mind which is not necessarily yours or you don't have all the objectives so you need to know you need to be aware and that's where ocw comes into play exposing your students to ocw resources will make them to be globally competitive this alignment of the course is left for every lecturer to do it it's something that you have to take years of experience and feedback for you to achieve so OCW will be a great help 
and helping you achieve that. So to me, OER uh, generally uh, is valuable in the sense that it gives students access to uh, the body of knowledge in the field they are going to specialize in, especially if they are going for research, and also give them access to the top experts in those fields. So they, they are aware of current thinking, they are aware of what the trends in that field are going to be, and they are prepared for it. So a lot of this is what keeps us inspired in the teaching line, seeing that some of your students are having a very good outcome. It makes you know that their future is promised.